All right, here we go. This is one. This is one of the few that I can really comment comment about the hairy stem. This is called goat weed. Okay, now this is a furry stem. Let me try to get you in close so you can see that. You see how furry that thing is? It's like velvet, very soft. Okay, that's the stem. That's the leaf. It's coming out of the leaf. Here's the bottom of the leaf. It's not very furry on the bottom, but it's definitely furry. Get off the bugs. Um, it's got some. It's got some lower shoots that are coming out already. You know, if I top this thing, I'm sure it'll, it'll the whole thing would turn into a bush. But I don't really want that in this situation because I'm going it dense. I'd rather get a high canopy. And then let the and when I go to bring it in, most of these plants may be brought in. Not all of them, but I mean, I'm probably going to bring a bunch of them in. I want to be able to have something to come cut back. That's the reason why I'm growing them densely, and that's also the reason why I'm um, uh, not topping anything and letting it go really tall because I want to I want to have something to cut back, and I'm going to be cutting back on that throughout the year. You know, throughout this the winter as I go back. So you need some material cut back. You can't just cut it down to the stump and bring it in there. Uh, I don't, I personally don't recommend that. So I have my way of, you know, wintering over pepper plants and that's what I do. I let them go tall. Then I, I tap them a little bit. I'll show you and I'll show you when we get to that point. I'll show you how I winter over to some of these peppers and I bring them in and I pot them and you do your normal thing. I'll show you how you put this into a state of dormancy so it can, uh, it could stop producing uh, fruits and it could just sit there and hang out throughout the winter. Barely uses any water, barely grows, it just hangs out. And then in spring, you damp it off, you put it out there, and then you could see like some of my other plants are just growing unbelievable amounts of peppers. So, um, let's see, where are we here? Uh, yeah, furry stem. There we go, I'm sorry. Furry stem. You could see there's some purpling in that stem. Okay, it's got a little purpling in it, some purple stripes. Uh, I can't tell if it's purple at the nodes. The weird thing is, it's not purple at the nodes. It's purple going directly into the leaf stem part, but not really on the whole around the main stem. Uh, the leaf is of a narrow leaf. I'm wiping off the uh, spider mites as I get on here. Yeah, I got some spider mites in here. Um, it's narrow leaf, it's soft. And I don't have any flowers of any kind on this thing. This thing is, uh, you know, just picking off these little guys, these little aphids and spider mites. You, you could see my plants are relatively clean if you look at everything here. You don't really see anything. That's because I'm always in here cleaning the bugs. All right. It's me, my spiders, and, um, what else I got in here? Toads, uh, all kinds of things. We're all working together to keep this garden bug free if we if possible um i don't know what else to say i don't have any flowers or fruit it looks like a flower is just starting to come out there the plant is uh, this one's probably around two feet tall maybe a little bigger and uh, that's it but yeah this is the furry stem type it's very furry very soft it's, it's like cottony looking here's the top of it you know you could see what it looks like it's a very interesting type of pepper plant actually this is, isn't very common that uh, you see them this furry. I mean, this thing is like a teddy bear, you know? So, yeah, fascinating plant. Curious to see what the fruit look like coming out of it. You know, on my own, I mean, we'll look at pictures, but I'd like it, seeing it in person is different than, you know, just um, looking at a picture of it, you know, holding it in your hand, tasting it, you know? But, um, yeah, that's it. That's it right there. It's in a, uh, you can see I keep them in, uh, I don't know what that is, um, two or three gallon container, something like that. And I roughly got two main plants in there, and there's, you can see all the little sprouts coming up, you know. There are a bunch of them in there. They'll, they'll eventually, the little ones, I might end up chopping the big ones down, bring the little ones in, repot them, and keep them with them over. I don't know. I don't know what to do. I may not even grow them again. But uh, that's it. That's the goat's weed.